Welcome to Toro NSN's Training in 10, an innovative self-paced training module that allows you to get trained and get going. Today's topic is a review of the diagnostic for the two-wire or GDC system. While this presentation is focused on links 3.0 versions and higher, the principles apply to all versions of links. Covered in this training in 10 is the utilities diagnostics, the communication check, the solenoid test, the wire path check, the change capacitor voltage, get gateway information, and the manual control. To start with, we will need to go to the utility diagnostic screen. Within the diagnostics, we will cover the diagnostic operations from the top to the bottom and from left to right. The first item of the list is the communication check. This will check the communication to an individual decoder and will attempt to retry up to three times. To select the decoder, we will utilize the drill down function to select the gateway. We will now use the drill down function to select the station group. We can now select the individual decoder to conduct the communication check. To start the communication check, click Start Operation. Links will send out a communication to the decoder and then it will receive a return response if it passes. Pass will show here. If the communication check fails, it will show here. It will also show in the marquee as a communication failure to station groups. If you click on this drop down, it will show you the breakdown of communication to individual station groups. If the failure is only that of a station, check the decoder and its wire connectors. If it is a larger communication failure, First, check the gateway and daughter boards. If they are functioning properly, do a wire path check that we will cover later. The next diagnostic operation is the solenoid check. This energizes the solenoid. So we have to select a gateway and a station group as well as an individual station that we're going to run this test on. Once we have selected the station, then we can start the operation by clicking Start Operation. If the solenoid passes the solenoid test, it will show Pass. If it fails, that is an indication that the solenoid may be bad or that the connections to that solenoid may not be correct. The next diagnostic operation is the wire line check that I mentioned earlier. This conducts a solenoid test on the terminal station of the wire line path. The terminal station designation is set up within the control system of links on the individual station. Once you have selected a station group to be evaluated, then you will click the start operation. If the wire line check shows pass, that is an indication that the communication wire is functioning properly. There are no open breaks or bad splices in that communication cable. If the wire line check fails, this is an indication that there is a break either at the terminal station or 
in the communication cable going out to the field. You will need to evaluate where that break of communication line occurs. The next diagnostic operation is change capacitor voltage. It will change the capacitor voltage to match that voltage that you have set in the control system. The default voltage is 15. This should be utilized unless you are directed to change this from a distributor service or a Toro field service individual. Again, you will need to select the individual station group within the gateway and you will need to select the individual station and then click start operation. If it shows passed, that will indicate that the voltage capacity has been changed for that decoder module. If there is a failure, that is an indication that the communication to that decoder has been broken, whether it is a break in the communication wire or a break at one of the splices. The next diagnostic operation is get the gateway information. This will get the information on the pump switch, rain sensor, and pressure switch that is located within the gateway. To start this operation, select a gateway and then hit Start Operation. This screen will show the information gathered from the gateway. If a failure occurs, check the gateway to make sure it has power and is functioning properly. Second, check the cables that are running from the computer to the gateway to make sure that they are attached correctly and are intact. The final diagnostic operation is the manual operation. This will allow the user to turn on or off the pump switch or turn off the power to the daughter board. To turn on the pump switch within the gateway, select the gateway, select turn pump on, and then click the start operation button. This now shows that the pump switch has been turned on inside the gateway. To turn the pump switch off, select the gateway, turn pump off, and click start operation. This now shows that the pump switch has been successfully turned off. The final manual operation is to power up the daughter board. You would do this by selecting the individual gateway and daughter board, then place the dot in, power the daughter board, and select Start Operation. If there is a failure in powering up the daughter board, immediately check the power supply going into the gateway and feeding into each of the daughter boards. Well, another 10 minutes has gone by and you have just completed another episode of NSN's Training in 10. Today's topic has been two-wire diagnostics for links. We hope this training and 10 lesson was helpful for you to better understand this helpful tool and that it helps further enhance your career working with the number one irrigation central control product available, the Toro Lynx control system. Be sure to keep looking for future installments of NSN's Training in 10, the self-paced training module that allows you to get trained, and get going. If you have any questions about this or about future training module releases, or if you'd like to participate in one of our acclaimed Toro Lynx regional training classes, please contact us by calling 
8676 option 2 once again that's 888 676 8676 option 2 Toro NSN Training also invites you to follow us on our Twitter site so that you can get the latest updates on where we are, what we're doing, and new training opportunities for you to participate in. You can find us at twitter.com forward slash at Toro NSN Training and send us a request to follow us. Toro NSN Training is offering a service called NSN focus training personalized irrigation software training with two options online a one to two hour block topic specific that is conducted on the web in person half or full day blocks addressing multiple topics at your facility with your staff for more information about this new service, give us a call at 888-676-8676, option 2. Toro and Toro's National Support Network. Count on it.